Hello my dear friends, are you planning to buy an Apple Mac computer? Or have you recently switched from Windows to Mac? You are at the right place, this video will be a good starting point for your Apple Mac journey. With no delay, let's jump into my Mac. As soon as you start your Mac, this is what you see. At the top of the screen is the menu bar. And at the bottom is the dock. This large workspace in between is what's called the desktop. Being personal computers, both Windows and Mac have almost same set of feature, but their user interface and navigation differs slightly. The desktop icons on Windows are arranged on the left side, but in Mac they are organized on the right side. Maximize, minimize and close buttons can be found on the right side of the title bar in Windows PC. But these buttons are placed at the left side in Mac. Another major difference that most of the long-time Windows user notice is, in Mac we do not have refresh option when you right-click. But at the end of the video, I'll show you a fairly equal option in Mac. You can quickly change the look of your desktop. Right-click and choose Change Desktop Background. And choose the picture that you like. You can select Use Stacks to neatly arrange your desktop icons. On the menu bar, the very first one that we have is Apple logo. Lot of new Mac users ask, how to shut down the Mac PC. Well, the easiest way is to select this Apple logo and select shut down. The another main thing that you should know here, is, system preferences. There are lots and lot of settings over here. General settings. Accessibility settings. Here you also have, network settings where you can add or remove networks. Manually configure the IP address. And there are many more options that you can explore under System Preferences. After Apple Logo, we have App Menu. Remember, this App Menu changes based on the app that you are currently working. Initially when PC starts, we get the menu items that are related to Finder app. We will see about Finder later. But soon after you open other apps, the menu items will change relevant to that specific application. For example, if I open Safari, the default web browser for Mac, the menu items changed automatically. Other interesting one in menu bar is Spotlight, which could search anything and everything. Not just in your PC, it also searches the whole world using Internet. For example, you can quickly perform currency conversions. Get the meaning of a word in seconds. Then we have Siri which is your personal voice assistant. And at the end we have notification center. After desktop and menu bar, it is time to know about the dock. The first item that we have in dock is Finder. Finder is the most versatile application in Mac. Almost any things that you see and navigate in Mac is part of Finder. And for that reason the Finder is ever running application in Mac. It's called the Finder because it helps you find anything within your Mac PC. It is more or less similar to Windows File Explorer. To change the items in your sidebar, choose Finder in menu bar. Select Preferences. Then click Sidebar at the top of the Preferences window. Over here you can customize what you want to see in your Finder's sidebar. To create a new folder, just right-click and select New Folder. To create a new file, open the corresponding application. For example, for creating a text file you may need to open Text Edit Application. Type in the content. You can use Command Button and C to copy, just like Control c in Windows PC. These are some of the other shortcut commands that you can use for operations such as Cut, Paste, Undo, Redo and Rename. Once your file is ready, select File in top menu bar, and choose Save. To delete any file or folder, just right-click on the file, and select Move to Bin. Within Finder, select Application. Over here, you can view all the applications that are available in your Mac. If you need more applications such as Chrome or Microsoft Office, you can go to App Store and get the same. To quickly uninstall any application, just right-click on the app icon and select Move to Bin. 
For easy access, you can place favorite applications in dock, especially the frequently used ones. Just drag the application from Finder to your dock. You can remove any application from dock, except Finder and Bin. To remove, just right-click the app icon in dock. Select Options, and choose Remove from Dock. This little rocket icon in the dock is called Launchpad. You can quickly launch any application that's already installed in your Mac PC. Just search for the app name you will get it. At the end of dock, we have bin. Similar to recycle bin in Windows, you can recover any accidentally deleted items from here. Right click on the specific icon and choose put back. This little dot below any app represents that particular app is being used or it is running in the background. If any application that is not responding, you can force stop it. Similar to what we do in Windows Task Manager. Just go to Apple icon in menu bar and select Force Quit. Now choose the particular app and tap on Force Quit. Remember, you cannot force quit Finder, however, you can relaunch it. It is somewhat closer to Windows Desktop Refresh. If you feel the overall system is slow, then probably you can relaunch Finder as a quick workaround. I hope it was a good start for your Mac journey. Please like, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thank you so much for watching.